Hey, do you need help trying to figure out what some of these symbols mean on the yarn label? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. Hi, I'm Sheila, the Crochet Nurse, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, you'll find all things about crochet on this channel, and sprinkled in with some medical topics along the way, pain, diet, health and wellness types of things. Well, if you find this kind of stuff interesting, please hit the subscription button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. So, let's get to it. Today what we're going to talk about is actually the yarn labels. I just pulled out a few skeins of yarn just so we can talk about them and go through what's the pieces that are on these labels. This happens to be Hobby Lobby Crafter's Secret that I pulled out of my stash. So all the yarn labels will start with their identifying markers. This is the Crafter's Secret, like I said, Hobby Lobby. Most of them have the price on there somewhere. And when you start flipping it around, Oftentimes you'll see whether or not there's going to be a pattern included, and if there is, they'll have a picture of that pattern on the label. And keep moving. Next thing that we're going to find on all skeins of yarn is going to be the color. And then this color happens to be a cobalt blue, and it also comes with a color number. And this just happens to be how the factory will label it. So this is a 67 cobalt blue. Over here, what you'll see, let's go up here to the top first, you're going to see the location, and this again tells you it's Hobby Lobby, and that this yarn is made in Turkey. Up here, we have what's called a lot number, and most of you are aware what that is. A lot number is when all of that similar, when all of that dime yarn was dyed at the same time and so they'll give that a lot number so this lot number is 909008 and so that means if I go and I need a bunch of cobalt blue crafter secret I may want to purchase them all with the same lot number so that way I'm getting all of the same color and I'll show you I have a Sankit cobalt blue here and this lot number as you can see is 002099. Now, for some yarns, it may or may not make a difference. But if you look here, you probably can see the difference there. And I can definitely see it on my camera as well. There's a slight difference in color between the two. Some, you know, some may not make a difference, but others may. So in this instance, there is a little bit of a difference. Like I say, it may not be important to you, but again, it may be. Here's another example of that. This is a Loops and Threads. Again, we have our logo. Tells us what it is, Cozy Baby. And on this one, where is it? We have a dye lot. It's right above the color. There's the color, Key West lot 84730. I got this one exactly at the same time and it was actually in the same bin. But this die lot is 84427. And if you look at these two guys, they look very similar. I would use those together. So your mileage may vary when it comes to this. So it's going to be, it, does the die lot matter? It could. It could not. I personally don't pay that much attention to dye lots, but you may. It just depends upon what you do um, and how close you want those items to match. But that's just to give you an idea that dye lots can be important. Like on this blue, you can see it's a little bit different. Okay, so let's continue on. Next up, what we're going to see, I'm back to my crafter secret. And now I've made it down to this part of my label, and I think this is where some people will get confused um, on this part of the label. This, we see how it comes in. It's 7 ounces or 199 grams. In the United States, we go by ounces and um, grams. We also are going to have yardage and meter. In the United States, again, we go by the yards or go over the pond. They go by meters, but we have both numbers on here. So this has 355 yards, and it is a 7-ounce ball. Now, what this 355 yards means here is that at a minimal, there's going to be 355 yards. There could be a little bit more um, in the ball, you know, once it gets rolled out. But this is stating that this is the minimal amount that would be in this ball. 
the seven ounces should be the minimal that's going to be in here, but really in the states we're going to go by more of the yardage. Next up is going to tell you the content. Hugely important if you have allergies, those kinds of things, you want to pay attention to the content. Okay, and I want to move up here because I want to focus on this part. Next thing we want to look at is these tiny little boxes. And the reason we're, again, using this one because not all of these have these boxes. So this is going to tell you what size hook or needles is suggested or recommended for this particular yarn. Okay? Now, on this yarn, it is saying it's recommending, this is uh, an I9 5.5 millimeter hook or a US8 5 millimeter needles. And that's what's recommended based on the manufacturer. Now, it says that if you use, and what's in my hand here is an I9 5.5. If I use a 5.5 and I would create, and this is the gauge swatch in here, and it says if I create a 4 by 4 inch gauge swatch, or 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter, to get that I would do 12 single crochets across, and it would be 15 rows high, would give me a 4 by 4 inch swatch. Now that said, if you have a pattern that's calling for you to use a K or an H, a different, uh, a different recommended hook than what's on here, you want to follow your pattern. That's what you want to do. But this is giving you an idea if you were going to create a pattern, this is suggesting to you that this is the hook size that the, this yarn company is recommending and that it should give you this gauge. So, so if I do a row of 12 single crochets, 15 rows high, it'll be equal 4 inches across and 4 inches high. Okay. So let's move on. The next part I want to talk about are these symbols down here, and I think this is another area that might confuse people a little bit. So let's start with, first we'll say this is a 4 medium, we'll get that out of the way. And then we're going to talk about the care instructions for this particular yarn. Okay, the first thing you see here is what looks like a wash basin. And you can and I'll move it up close so you can read it. As a wash basin, and in there it says 40. Now, anytime you see any of these symbols, if they have an X on top of it, it means don't do that. Okay? Otherwise, if there's no X on top of it, then it's going to further tell you what you can do with it inside this little symbol. So here is a wash basin. So this is saying that this yarn can be washed in 40 Celsius water, and the equivalent of that is going to be medium heat. Now, that's what that's saying. I go over here to, um, that's one way that they can show that symbol. Here's a different example. This one is a wash basin, and it has two dots. That means exactly the same thing as the other one. 40 Celsius is going to be the equivalent of two dots, which is also going to mean wash and medium heat. And that's the two ways that you can see it. It's going to be either dots or it's going to be numbers. One dot is cold, two dots is warm, three dots is hot. Four dots would be extremely hot. If there are no dots and there are no numbers, then it's machine wash normal. And so for Celsius, it's going to be 30 Celsius is cold, 40 is medium, 50 is hot, 60 is extremely hot. So that's what this means here, is the wash time, or the, what the wash is. This square that's beside it is, it looks like a dryer, and that's what it's meaning. That means drying. And they use the same type of system. It could have, it won't use numbers, it'll use dots. And so just like before, if you have one dot, it would be cool. Two dots, medium, three dots are going to be hot. If it has an X, you're not allowed to dry it at all. 
this symbol here looks like an iron. It's exactly what it is. If you, this one says no iron. If it was had one dot, it would be iron on low heat, two dots medium, three dots hot. This triangle symbol is for bleach. So you already know what that means now. No bleach. And, that, and believe it or not, the circle over here at the end means dry cleaning. So this yarn right here can be dry cleaned and the A on the inside means it can be dry cleaned by any solvent. That's what that means. Now, for context, if I go to this one here, now you know what that means. Warm, wash, there's an X on top of the bleach, and this is in a different order, that's why I'm showing it to you. Here's the dryer, one dot means low, and no iron, there's no circle for dry cleaning. That means you cannot dry clean that particular yarn. I'm gonna show you something else, just because it gets a little bit interesting. So what this is, is Yarn B's Hint of Glam, and this is a 50-50 cotton bamboo blend, or 48, 48, something like that, and 2% lyrics. So, so if I look at the care instructions for here, there's a little hand there. That means hand wash. Dryer, there's an X on top of it. Can't dry. See the iron? One dot. So I can hand wash it, use a cool iron on it, X on top of the bleach, no bleach. I can dry clean this stuff and I can only use, let me get the word here, is um, chloropylephene is the stuff that I can, cannot use. Otherwise I can dry clean this material. And remember this is a bamboo cotton. By contrast, this here is loops and threads, and this is a cotton nylon. Now look how they did this one. There's that hand wash again, but now it's got a dot. So it's hand wash, one dot, meaning hand wash in cold water. There's the bleach. What does that mean? No bleach. Look at that. That's a new symbol. It has a square and a line through it. That means lay flat to dry. Can I iron this? Nope. So I can hand wash in cold water, lay flat to dry. Can I dry clean this one? Nope. Right? So you guys getting that? There's another one. This one has a little bit different. Now like I say I'm going to show you, trying to show you things that are a little bit different. So you kind of get the gist here. I turn it upright. Okay. There's those same symbols again. Bleach. Can I use bleach on this one? No. Can I dry clean? No, because there's a circle with an X through it, and circle means dry clean. Can I iron? No. But look at these guys. Here's my wash. Here's my dryer. Now it's got the dot. So I can wash it in cold, because it's one dot, but now it has two lines underneath of that. What that means is I can wash cold, delicate cycle. Whenever there's two lines underneath, that means delicate. So what does this one mean then? I can dry one dot, cool dry, right? Because one dot equals cool, delicate cycle, because it has two lines underneath. See? That's how that works. And then we pull up Premier Rodeo. A lot of you like Rodeo and Premier. There we go. Pretty straightforward, right? Now you guys know what to do. You see it? I have a cotton polyester. It's a 4. Here's my hook. 5.5. 14 single crochets across and 14 rows high is going to give me my 4x4 four four square. I go down. How can I wash it? 1 dot cold, 2 dot medium. I can wash in medium heat. I can dry it normal. 
I can iron this low, medium, because I got two dots, so medium, no bleach, and I also can dry clean it. I just cannot use the polychlorophene. And that's how that would work. This um, yarn right here actually I got out of a, a Mary Maxim uh, mystery box unboxing. And so I got this and a few of the other things that are around here. So if you want to see that, I'll actually put the video up above so you can take a look at that Mary Maxim unboxing. But I hope that this was, it was um, helpful for you so you kind of get an idea of what's on the yarn label, how to read this, um, as far as the gauge, and then how to read those care instructions. All right, y'all. If you have any questions, put it down below, and I'll be happy to answer. Have a great day.